Hey internet, for this video I'm going to show how to set up the Asus wireless N300 router as a Wi-Fi repeater. This crudely drawn picture shows it best. The reader is taking the Wi-Fi signal of the main router which is the black circle and repeating the signal in the blue circle. So basically both circles now give access to the same Wi-Fi connection. Essentially increasing the range of the Wi-Fi signal in the original network. At least that's how I understand it. Having a Wi-Fi repeater is useful for adding signal to weak Wi-Fi areas. That being said, let's open the box and set this up. This is the ASUS N300 router. It's actually a nice budget router for small networks. But for this video, I'm only going to be using its repeater function, since I already have a larger router. The other stuff in the box is the power brick, Ethernet cable, and antennas. Time to put this thing together. Press the antennas, just screw it in. Alright, I changed areas since my living room was getting too dark. Plug in the power connector. Plug the Ethernet cable. When setting up as a Wi-Fi repeater, plug the Ethernet cable to the yellow port. Now plug in the power cable to the outlet. Press the power button on the back of the N300. The blue lights will indicate it's on. For the purposes of setting the N300 as a repeater, the Ethernet cable's other end needs to be plugged into a computer. I used my laptop for this. Problem is, my laptop does not have an Ethernet port. You're most likely going to be plugging this into a desktop, in which case most of them do have an Ethernet port. But for me, I had to get a USB to Ethernet adapter to be able to plug it into my laptop. Now let's turn on the laptop to begin the Wi-Fi repeater setup process. Open a browser. I prefer using Google Chrome, but any of the other ones should work fine. Enter the address 192.168.1.1. Hit enter. This is the setup menu. Click manual setting. You'll have to create login credentials here. I usually go by the default login name which is admin. Enter a password you'll remember, otherwise the router will need a hard reset to make future changes. Once you're done creating login credentials, scroll down and click next. Since this video is showing how to turn this particular router into a repeater, click repeater mode on the top then click next. The router will now scan for Wi-Fi networks. Try and do this setup at a spot with good signal of the Wi-Fi you want to repeat. I'm going to be repeating my main router's Wi-Fi, so I'll select Thiongles 2.4. Obviously your own main Wi-Fi router will have a different name, so you'll want to be clicking that. It will then prompt for the network key, which is usually the Wi-Fi password for WPA2 security, or for those that use those internet service provided modem router combos, the key is usually taped on the back of the unit. If you're unsure about what the Wi-Fi password is, ask someone in the house. Someone's gotta know. Depending on your browser, it may autofill the password with the one you made earlier for the login creation. Ignore that and enter your main Wi-Fi password, then click connect. Leave everything default here. Don't make any changes unless you're an expert at setting up networks. But if that were the case, you wouldn't be watching this video in the first place. This video is basically for beginners like myself. Click next. You'll be asked what to name this new Wi-Fi network. The default is set as the original Wi-Fi name that you're repeating underscore RPT and with the same password. But basically you can name it anything you want and even have a different password. You can go with whichever you're most comfortable with. For this video I unchecked used the default settings and gave my network a test name and a generic password for example purposes. Click apply when ready. Read the information shown before clicking finish. Depending on how good the original Wi-Fi signal you're repeating is, this screen may take a while or may finish quickly. Once it's set up, it will ask you to log in with the router credentials. 
which is the one we created at the very start of this video. I've done this setup multiple times beforehand and this part can sometimes hang instead of finishing and moving on to the next screen. If that happens, close the browser. I don't know why this particular router sometimes does it, but the repeater settings will still work even after closing the window while it says apply all settings. If that happens, just open the IP address 192.168.1.1 again on your browser and it should now send you to the login screen with the repeater settings saved. This is how to tell the setup works. Now let's test out the repeater's Wi-Fi network by accessing it with the phone. Disconnecting from my main Wi-Fi and going on Thiangle's test using the guest123 password. Testing browsing by going on some websites. NBA ESPN is a good one. Well, because I like basketball. Wi-Fi works, so we're connected. Might as well try another website, apple.com. And that's it. Hit that like button if you found this video useful and leave a comment if you think faking an accent can get me more subscribers and if so, what is the best accent to fake on YouTube? Because I may just do that in future videos. Thanks for watching.